<laughs> Tagal na. Ang ganda ng background mo. So, we're on PG-13 na uh, so, <laughs> so, just to be clear. Alright. Uh, but, <laughs> um, PG-13. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. It's another episode of Leadership Stack where we are going camping. And right now, we are on the road heading to Zambales. We're going to be camping at the Crystal Beach Resort. We've been invited by Joel Pedro of Overland Kings. And yeah, we're looking forward to good company, good food, good drinks, what camping is all about. guys so we just arrived here at Crystal Beach Resort here in Zambales Joel is right there he helped us park the car two of the rigs we brought the LC and we brought the Jeep here uh, bro thank you so much for inviting us here what is going on here what is going on here It's called the Overland Kings OK Camp Out. So the goal is to really, you know, after setting up the cars, you gotta use it. So our goal is to promote the lifestyle, to yeah. bring people out, and then uh, have a good time. Right, guys, so it's almost uh, sunset, and we're gonna have an event later. But right now, we have Joel here, ninakaw lang natin siya for a few minutes and mm -hmm. in leadership stack, this is what, this is the value that we try to give out every time and right now we have the opportunity to learn from Joel who started Overland Kings, who actually is the reason why we're all here. All of the rigs that you've seen in the roles, lahat yan, may kamay ni Joel yan. Bro, we just want to know, like, where did all this come from? Doing this uh, Overland Kings camp out, it's a culmination of uh, sharing the experience with others. And sharing the experience is really key for us because that's how we started. Yeah. Uh, we started traveling the Philippines, siguro, way before all the gear was available. Yeah. So we used to go around Banawe, Sagada, yeah. road trip lang. Yeah. So that's how we started. And I think that triggered the imagination of the type of travel that we like to do, yeah. which was land travel. And basically, yeah. land travel, and then you add the toys is overlanding. Yeah. So yeah. overland glamping, right? So oh. that's that's essentially what overlanding is about. And if you ask how it got started, to segue that story in, is where we at right now is basically ground zero for everybody else who's starting their journey. Talaga. Yeah, because for example, for the guys who are here, uh, probably some haven't come for a while, right? And some yeah. many have set up ng gamit. Actually. But may not have actually used the gear. Yeah. Right. So this is the opportunity to showcase all the gear, showcase the lifestyle, and you know, just a time to hang out with good friends, good family, good vibes with uh, oh. even everybody here. Kaling, actually the crowd here. Sobrang like mo ubus ko yung araw ko kakausap lang sa kanila. That's Totoo right. lang. Yeah. Totoo lang. Sobrang okay. Sobrang humble. Marang, sobrang down to earth. Yeah. Na, maganda sa camping and overlanding. Like uh, you may be. A lot of guys obviously are business leaders in their own respect, right? Yeah. Uh, in their own field. Yeah. But when, when it comes to this type of uh, event, everybody's unbuckled, chill down. Yes. Right? Uh, doesn't matter what we do, doesn't matter what your day job is. Pagating yeah. sa beach, beach. Sobrang ganda kasi parang you're here, kids are meeting you, other kids, they're playing, mm -hmm. they're getting their feet in the sand, getting grounded, and then tayo naman, we're networking or, you know, looking at the rigs, di ba? Parang playing and business. Parang sobrang win-win lahat, eh, no? Yeah, yeah. And good food. Yeah, bro. Grabe, sobrang okay. Yeah. Overlanding, do you think that it's still going to grow, increase in popularity, more people are gonna come into it? This is the Philippines, ah. Overland is more than just camping. Uh, see, because of the pandemic, yes, it triggered a big 
explosion of people trying to go outdoors. And, yeah. But that's always going to be there. So, but with, 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 with everything opening up again, like the malls opening up again, yeah. do you think it's going to, you know, people are going to go back to selling their rigs and stuff? No, no, I don't think. Tagalan, ang ganda ng background mo. So we're on PG-13, so so just to be clear, alright. But PG-13. But going back, you know what? I think it's not going back or something. It's adding into the repertoire. Yeah. Everybody has a weekend. Yeah. Right. They're not gonna go to the mall every weekend. Oh yeah. There's a weekend where probably it's a mall day, sure. Yeah. But there's always gonna be a weekend where it's outdoor day. There you go. Right. Whether you're in Palawan, in Batangas, by boat, by sea, by land, it's part of our culture to go out on a weekend. Yeah. So it's a matter of letting people enjoy what we're doing. Like, yeah. I don't know. Would you choose this over the mall any day? So exactly. Hundred percent. So as long as there's someone choosing this over a mall and they like the experience, likes the lifestyle. Overlanding will go. So here's one of the things that I'm wondering about. You're also managing a lot of people in Lamoyan, which is a big company, and then you have your people here in Overland Kings. Na kasama mo sila magkam. Right. Like how do you lead and manage these people? Na parang they're seeing, oh, this guy's a big boss, and yet I get to go out with him, set up his tent, help other people set up theirs. How do you lead? Leadership is very hard question to answer. According to Edmond Chan, it's a mystery. So I would stick with that. Different different styles, but generally I I stick with hiring people that know what they're doing. At the very least, if they don't know what they're doing, the attitude is correct. Right. Because the worst thing you can have is a person who with a character you can't vouch for, and then uh, you'll be doubting that person all the time. Right. Right. pa yung the guy who you know 100% is not gonna yeah. do one over for you. Uh, right? Even though there may be less capable people, but yung ganun, you can teach yeah. and you can you can always bring them up. You can't do a CI on like okay ba yung credit ni tong guy na to in terms of character. How yeah. do you check? Simple. I tell my guys every time I hire someone, you don't have to earn my trust. You have 100%. Up to you to deduct. If you reach a point where I can't trust you. Uh oh. No matter how good you are, uh -oh. we're going to uh -oh. Day one, I tell that to all the guys I hire. Solid, yun, eh? yep. that's it. That's very, very good. I just heard that. Yeah, because it's very hard to cool. hire people and let them try to win you over every time, right? Actually, yeah. So how much do you have to win over for you to get their trust? Tama. In the first place, I won't hire someone naman who doesn't know what they're doing. You just don't know what the extent of how good they are, right? Yes. But at the very basic, you know that they're capable of doing a basic task that you're hiring them for. Yeah. And you know, in, uh, positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement. Always. Like, uh, I got a lot of guys here who, you know, I don't deserve. Yeah. Like, running this event, it's not my show, no? Uh, uh, the last, this event, yeah. two days, I'm going to panic. Really? Yeah. Why? Then Bakit? my guys tell me, Joel, just show up. I'm going to Yeah. But isn't that the best thing you want to hear? The best, bro. Nah, Sarap noon. Just show up. I'm going to be like, Set up nuns, set and up. you know, so far so good. Oh, I mean, we still jump by making along the way, but yeah. generally, we're able to accomplish what we want to do, right? Yeah, but yeah. to be able to get to that level, you gotta empower guys. Yeah, say some, I think a lot of leaders make the mistake of so over suffocating the flexibility. Uh oh, micromanaging, right? micromanaging, right? Yeah. Now, I believe now, of course, it's not no managing. Yeah, if for example, someone makes a mistake, then you know, okay, bang sumo bring me ko, bawa sa tama, short in the rope, oh, short in the rope. Pero ano mo na kada bago mo na expa? How do you ano give them vision na okay dito ka ngayon pero in the future pa ding ganito pa ding ganon. Takes time eh. You can't get the relationship with someone in day one. Yeah. But example let's talk about overlanding. Yeah. When I see them in this element, this is very unusual. You will see how si pag a person is. Oh. You will see if they're in the in your in the same boat or not. Actually no. This is the best way to 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 judge character. Yes yes. Iba kasi oh lasing gero ba to? Ah, may sawi ba ito sa laban? Dito mo malalaman yun. Dito mo malalaman, yes. Actually, lahat ng tao, kaya hindi nila alam yun. Nilalabas mo kasi doon ko nakikita eh. Oo, over camper. Huwag na kayo sumama next time. Yung mga nasa likod ng camera. Hindi pwede, kasama na ako sa akin yan. Hindi, pero not necessarily to judge them. Pero you know, give them opportunity to relax. And the more you know about the person, it's easier to work with them. That's right. Right. So if I know their backgrounds, I know what's happening in their lives. You know where they're coming from. And same way, the vice versa. They know what's happening with you. They see your family. They see who you are here in a relaxed environment. So it's a win-win situation for, for if you're able to bring them up. So there, I think that's my style of working with people. How about 
the vision for the business, the company. Diba? I mean, sorry ah, pero ang daming business owners kasi na parang, ah, cruise control na, kumikita na ng pera, happy na ako dito. Diyan, diyan tayo nagkakamali. Oh, so, paano, paano? It's to be the best overland shop in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. As simple as that. So, sabi ko, that means grinding it out the service. You have her strand experience, right? Sabi ko, normal may masisira, normal may magkakamali. Hindi, oh, hindi. Importante, yeah. pag may nangyari yun, masaservisyon mo hindi. Yes. Kasi okay. once you lose your customer service, that's yeah. where that defines the good from the bad. Yes. Kasi correct. the good shops can make mistakes, but they know how to take care of the customers. Correct, correct. The correct. bad shops, if they don't take care of the customers, how do you feel? Parang, ay, this guy just sold me once. Bad. Oh, oh, oh. transactional. Ako. Oh, oh transactional. That's the worst thing, di ba? Kasi yeah. the worst thing you want to do is kitaan mo lang yung customer. Tama. Tama. Of course, in the process of doing things, we're a business. You gotta make a profit. Correct. Di ba? Or else be a non-profit organization. So correct, there's nothing correct. wrong with that. Correct. But I think it's letting your customers feel that this is creating value, right? This yeah. whole experience. Yeah. It's creating yeah. value. It is. It so is. It's, it's the same thing. Chaka good customers will want you to make money because you'll, you'll, you'll go out yeah. of business. Yeah. Wala namang good service sa kanila. Tama. And okay. you know, I think yung ano, make sure na when you're trying to charge something, kaya mo panindigan. Yeah. Because you can charge cheap, but your quality is too much. You're you're shortchanging yourself. Yeah. You can yeah. charge expensive, but be under delivering. You're yeah. also shortchanging yourself. Tama. Tama. Diba? So you gotta. I like the word value. Eh. I, uh, don't, I don't like being called expensive or cheap. Yeah. I want best value. Guys. You're getting the gold right here. Not expensive, not affordable, not cheap. Value. Yun yun. That's what a lot of entrepreneurs really need to get into their heads. Yeah. Deliver the value and your business, it will grow. You yun deliver yun. the value, people will pay for it. People right? will pay for it. Because like, just a simple example, why will you buy a 100,000 Samsung phone or why Apple would phone? You? Mahal lah. Hindi, di ba? The new yeah. iPhone, what? iPhone Pro Max, whatever. Talaga? Six digits. Mahal lah. No, di ba why? Why won't you buy a 10,000 phone? Yeah. It's it's not cheaper. It's, you think there's value for buying that car? Right? Yeah. That, that, that phone. That phone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same, same thing. I think. Last question, bro. Because I know that you need to be stage. Eh. May, kulang sila, kulang si artista dun isa. Eh. Anong outlook mo this year? Uh, I think we should be optimistically cautious because interest rates are going up. But I think the business that thrive yeah. know what they're worth to their customers. Yeah. So if you're able to deliver that, whether you're high, mid, or low value types of uh, target markets, yeah. you're fine. As long as you know yeah. what your value is to the customer. In spite of the looming U.S. recession. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just be smart. Don't overspend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, invest in marketing. Don't overspend. Spend within your means. Kundika say I can't do it. There you go. Simple. Galing, galing. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Yeah, and you guys, Joel Pedro, Overland Kings. If you're looking to either buy kasi ako binili ko yung rigs ko sa kanya kung may rig ka na sa kanya mo pa set up the best especially if you're in the south area shop is just in Paranaque in West Service Road so galing love it thanks so much for being on the show thanks for your value for all of our listeners and Definitely. all of Pleasure. our viewers yep. and all the best bro all the best thank you Sean for having me and thank you for joining our Overland Camp Campout so awesome yeah. thanks brother okay. bye bye Watch out for the next series and we're glad Sean's here in this uh, camp out.